So there was a lady, subhanallah, once when Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and this man is already 40, post 40. He had nubuwa at the age of 40. He's seated. And he's seated. He sees an animal come through. A lady disembarks with some of her own goods. And he decides, okay, let me offer a bit of help. Do you offer people help? Allahu Akbar. Do you offer anyone help? This was a Nabi of Allah, the Prophet, offering a non-Muslim, a mushrika, assistance, because she was an elderly lady. Can I help you with your goods? Look at the impact of his character. Beautiful speech. Today people say, ah, you know, these people, kuffar, so on. Yes, subhanallah, they might be disbelievers, but what impact are you going to leave upon them with your character and your conduct? Have you learned from the character of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? So he says, can I offer some assistance? Can I help you with your goods? And she looks at him and says, what? People your age, nowadays, nobody helps. Nothing happens. Nobody assists. Anyway, I really appreciate it. And he takes her goods and he starts walking with her. And she says, you know, there is a man in Mecca. And he is such a horrible man. He's a magician. He's a womanizer. We've heard he is this. He wants power. He is dividing us. He is talking about gods. And he says, just worship one Allah, the creator. And don't worship any idol. Don't worship this and that. And he is a magician. If you look at him, he bewitches you. And he does this and that. You know, his character. He did not say a word. That was not the time to talk. It's the time to do whatever he was doing. Imagine if any one of us had to give a lift to someone and they jump into your car and you're the CEO of, for example, that business. And the guy says, wow, thank you for giving me a lift. Anyway, you know what? See that business there? The CEO of that place there is a thug. You know, he's a big thief. He's an operator. He's a criminal. And he's this and he's that. And the word today, what do they use? They say, he's a radical terrorist. Wow. And you're like, whoa. Stop the car, jump off please. That's the bare minimum. I think a lot of people would actually do. And you know what? To be honest with you, the world teaches you that. In fact, nowadays the world teaches you, don't give them a lift, let them catch public transport. That's how it is. So Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa no. He chose to remain silent. I don't even want to talk about it. Subhanallah, he got to the destination. When he gets to the destination, he puts the goods down and he's leaving. And she says, listen, my son, a question. I forgot to ask you who you are. And she was talking bad about him from point A to point B. All the way. Now she has this question. Who are you? You know? And he says, you know, from the time I picked your goods up to the time I have arrived here at your home and left your goods. You were speaking about a man. And you said whatever you said about him. And you said his name is Muhammad bin Abdullah. I just want you to know that I am Muhammad bin Abdullah. What impact did this create? Look at the character. He didn't say what you said was wrong. I'm clarifying my name. I'm this. Subhanallah, that's our weakness today. And sometimes we have to do that. But he says, I'm the man. His character and conduct spoke for itself. She says, if that is the case, I bear witness that you are a messenger of Allah. I bear witness. There is none worthy of worship besides Allah. Your call is correct. You are indeed a prophet of Allah. One small statement. I am Muhammad. Why? She saw the man's character. The man was such a powerful man. And she realized this is not an ordinary human being. He's come through without uttering a word. And she accepted the message. I give you another example. Every day in Mecca, in the gullies and alleys of Mecca, you find a lady throwing her dirt at Muhammad وسلم, when he is passing. Throwing the dirt at Muhammad وسلم, when he is passing and it's full of everything. And it carried on happening every time he crossed that path. And one day he passed the, you know, he was walking on that alley and nothing came in his direction. Wow. Imagine this was a woman, a female, an elderly woman. Today even old woman has to throw some dirt at you a few times, I think people would pick her up with one, you know, arm and say, hey, 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 lady, you better watch out, put her down again. Allah protect us. 
he decided, let me turn back and see what happened. How come this thing didn't come? Look at the character. So he knocks on the door and when he's allowed in, it's Muhammad. Wow, Muhammad, what do you want here? No, every day I pass here, you know, something comes in my direction. Today it didn't come. You know, I thought maybe you're not well. Maybe there is something wrong. Can I do something for you? You know, are you okay? Is everything fine? Everything okay? What? I bear witness that you are the messenger. Allahu Akbar. Statement done. Over. Take a look at the impact of this character. Amazing. And this was a non-Muslim he's dealing with. People who are not only non-Muslims. An enemy. Someone who is harming and trying to inflict on him some form of harm that would embarrass and degrade him. Yet, above all this, I need to present the beauty of Islam.